Uh, Gino, can you discuss what the first media timeout was like in the huddle and was the discussion rather one-sided? The first media timeout? 13 to 4. Oh, at 13 to 4. Um, well, it was, it was mostly, and you could, you could see it coming. We come down, we score, score, they miss, they miss. Then we miss wide open shots. You're not going to hold them forever. And then I think we got like standing around doing nothing. And then they got a little run, a little bit of momentum. Um, and I knew that, you know, once we got some movement and once we got some flow, that we would be okay. And, and I told them, they're not going to make 10 more threes. And I don't know how many they made in the first quarter. How many? Three? They made four the rest of the game. So. But that's the only thing I was worried about going into the game, whether offensively we would, we would be able to generate enough of a flow because they just put four guys in the lane. And we needed Aubrey to play great today because – her guy was going to be in the lane the entire game. And we needed our big guys to shoot the ball well from the perimeter, which is a good test for us, you know, because that's what people are going to do a lot of times. You know, Lou was a big part of sparking that run for you guys in the second quarter. Um, just how crucial has her play, you know, been for you guys this season? And um, has she surpassed, you know, your expectations you had for her coming in? Uh, I'd probably be... I'd probably not be truthful if I said yes or if I said no. Um, when, Ju uh, when Lou came here for summer school in June, um, after the first five days, I pretty much said, somebody who was a starter is not going to start this year. I mean, that's how impressive she was and how well she fit into our scheme of things and what a great teammate and what a great, what a great person she is. And it's only continued to go up in my, in my estimation for me personally. It's been more and more and more positives that I don't know where we'd be without Lou she she might be our MVP